Hello guys, good day to all, it's Mike Father One. We're back to our middle of the week weather analysis. This is for today, May 15 to 17, 2024. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation in partnership with About This Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with You. If you're interested to know more about the BPI uh, Sustainable Program, just click on the link here. And if you're watching via Facebook, just go to our description and click on the link towards uh, uh, BPI uh, Sustainable with You website. And also uh, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Camarani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set. Uh, this was issued yesterday until today, and we have already uh, developing uh, clusters of thunderstorms every afternoon or evening, affecting uh, most parts of uh, Luzon, northern and central Luzon, to be exact. But uh, e over the Bicol region, we are just the only area without any uh, strong thunderstorms, just a few ones, so isolated uh, smaller ones. But uh, this is now uh, a sign that we are nearing, or precautionary signs that we are approaching the uh, start of the wet or rainy season. So there are already uh, afternoon rain showers and thunderstorms occurring, not just yesterday, but also this afternoon and tomorrow. And over the Beagle region, we expect uh, thunderstorms to uh, arrive sometime this weekend and early next week. So uh, this is a blessing to us if it happens. And uh, we still have the uh, warm easterlies affecting the eastern sections of uh, Mindanao, Visayas, Beagle region. And uh, there are some isolated thunderstorms also occurring across uh, Mindanao and the Sulu Archipelago Palawan area and some portions of uh, Visayas and uh, if we take a look now on the uh, area outside of PAR this is uh, the once LPA92W it became just a part of the near equatorial trough but in the next couple of days we are going to keep an eye on this cloudiness for another LPA that may form and uh, most of the computer models are developing it into a strong LPA with the exception of the American model which shows a uh, strong typhoon moving into the Philippine Sea or in the vicinity of Guam but for the rest of the uh, uh, computer models like the European model, the Australian, Brazilian model it only shows as an active LPA moving into the vicinity of Palau and Yap and into the Philippine Sea sometime uh, next uh, weekend, okay? So we are going to keep an eye on this area of uh, cloudiness. And we have here a May front beginning to depart to the east of uh, Japan. As of now, it's currently here, but uh, the tail end is uh, likely to bring some showers near to the east or north of Batanes. And uh, if we take a look at the fast animation, so there you go. This is now the stationary front beginning to uh, move to the east of Japan. And you can see some thunderstorms to the east of Batanes. And some northeasterly winds beginning to develop over Batanes area. While uh, here over the Philippine Islands, it's all clear during the morning, but in the afternoon, evening, there might be some developing uh, thunderstorms once again across northern and central Luzon and also parts of Mindanao and Visayas. Here's the area of the near equatorial cloud that we are keeping an eye for possible development uh, next week. Okay, so we will keep an eye on this system. And for the uh, Zoom in solar animation from windy.com issued uh, around uh, 8 o'clock this morning until uh, almost 2 o'clock this afternoon. We could see some still clear skies across the Philippine Islands, but as the afternoon progresses, there are already developing thunderstorms over Cagayan Valley and Ilocos region. Later this afternoon, there will be more thunderstorms in uh, various parts of Luzon, except for the Bicol region, which we continue to uh, 
experience dry conditions as well as increasing uh, heat index uh, yesterday and the past few days we are reaching a high of 49 to 50 degrees across uh, various sections of Camarini Sur particularly Naga City and uh, so far that's the uh, scenario right now and if we take a look at the uh, uh, wind and pressure forecast for the next uh, uh, three days and we are extend going to extend this uh, by uh, next week or next weekend to show to you if the LPA is likely uh, to be a threat to our country but so far it's not yet okay so this is the forecast uh, today we have very light uh, easterly winds affecting the eastern sections of Bicol, Visayas and Mindanao and uh, calm to variable winds which uh, help uh, develop thunderstorms over this area by tomorrow, Thursday afternoon, we expect uh, some northeasterly wind flow affecting uh, Batanes and Babuyan Kubo Islands and the coastal waters of extreme northern Luzon. Winds will be around 30 to 50 kph because of a uh, temporary high pressure in the vicinity of eastern China. And elsewhere, the easterlies will weaken further that will pave way for more uh, vertical thunderstorms to develop uh, over Luzon, portions of the Bicol region, Visayas, and Mindanao. And here is the uh, area of convergence, which could become a low pressure system in the coming days. And by Friday afternoon, the winds will just be, uh, or the easterly winds will be concentrated along the eastern shorelines of uh, Samar and uh, eastern Mindanao, while elsewhere it will remain calm to very light winds in variable directions that will pave way for more thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. And here's the area of convergence that we are keeping an eye. Now, if we move this uh, slider towards next week, uh, let me set it on Wednesday or Tuesday. There you go. There's already an active LPA south of Guam approaching Yap. This is Yap. So we will be keeping an eye on this system. And on May 22, Wednesday, it will be approaching Yap. Thursday, May 23, approaching the Philippine Air Responsibility. Power is somewhere here okay and on friday it might enter par as a shallow lpa as the uh, or an open wave because the circulation of the lpa is not yet circular it's just the winds is just over the eastern northern and western quadrant and nothing much on the southern part so it's typically an open wave so the european model is forecasting it to weaken uh, by Friday, May 24. But if we take a look at the uh, American model, it's much aggressive because on Sunday, this week and Sunday, May 19, it's already a tropical depression. Then Monday, uh, tropical storm. Tuesday, May 21, approaching uh, Guam. May 22, passing over Guam as a severe tropical storm and then it will depart Guam on uh, Thursday, May 23 as a uh, severe tropical storm and on Friday, May 24 it remains a severe tropical storm so this is highly uncertain it's not yet sure since the American model are too aggressive but take a look at the posi uh, position of the, the two reliable models the European and the American model if we take a look at the uh, European model is somewhere here as a tropical wave while the American model is somewhere here to the northwest of Guam as a tropical storm or severe tropical storm so if we get the uh, mid-range of this uh, system I mean the midpoint here's the uh, uh, let me see this is the track of the oops the track of the European model while the American model is uh, uh -huh. this one here like that so the area of uh, possible formation is somewhere here 
So it's a tale of two different intensities when it comes to two reliable models. So it does uh, they they uh, still don't agree with each other. So this is the American model as a severe tropical storm, while the uh, European model is just a low pressure or an open wave or tropical wave. Okay, somewhere here. So it's still not sure. And mostly when a tropical cyclone develops, both of these models agree that it will become a tropical cyclone. So as of now, it's still uncertain. So the probability of the American model remains low. So we will wait and see since the forecast is more than five days. So let's hope and pray that uh, it won't uh, move towards the Philippine Islands. If it will remain over here, uh, it will uh, just bring some isolated thunderstorms across the country because of the local convection not yet related to the storm. So that will be uh, the uh, scenario. But uh, there is still no sign of the uh, southwesterly wind flow that could uh, uh, be the precautionary sign of the start of the southwest monsoon but so far it's not yet uh, possible for the next uh, uh, 10 days so we will keep you updated on that one and here's the ensemble of the uh, european model it only shows a uh, development here uh, south of guam but it doesn't extend from there so still a big question mark how about the thunderstorm activity across the Philippine Islands? We have here a, uh, a graph from the windy.com. It, it shows thunderstorms that will show to you the possible forecast of uh, upcoming thunderstorms across the Philippine Islands using the European model. So uh, this afternoon, this is the forecast. Most of the thunderstorms are concentrated over Cagayan Valley, uh, CAR, and also northern portions of central and western Luzon and if we move this into Thursday afternoon thunderstorms are still concentrated over northern and uh, the northern portions of central Luzon okay uh, Mindanao there will be some isolated ones Bicol region is still not yet uh, keen in developing uh, uh, or receiving a thunderstorm from this model Friday, there might be a chance of a thunderstorm of the Bicol region, particularly Camarines provinces. And thunderstorms will continue to prevail on the forecast over northern and central Luzon, including parts of Metro Manila and uh, western and southern sections of Mindanao. Saturday afternoon, again, uh, the Bicol region is already under the radar of this uh, uh, thunderstorm uh, forecast so it looks likely by Friday until uh, this weekend there might be some chances of thunderstorms across the Bicol region but most parts of Luzon will also enjoy this uh, afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms also over Mindoro and uh, some Bonga Peninsula as well as Soxygen area and on Sunday Sunday afternoon Again, Bicol region, southern and central, including northern Luzon, will also have some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. So that's a good sign that uh, we need this. Okay, we need this rainfall and thunderstorms to help the f dry or drought-stricken farmlands of our country to be filled with water. Since uh, we are now on the transition period, by the way, we have the latest uh, El Nino update. We will be issuing it within the week. Or this weekend stay tuned for that the latest now is that we are now uh, moving into neutral conditions actually the uh, El Nino has ended we are now transitioning into normal climate so we expect return to normal rainfall sometime July and August because the effects of El Nino is still ongoing until June so most likely there might be a delay of the start of the rainy season probably middle of Ju June or uh, last week of June, so it depends on the strength of the development of this uh, 
uh, possible development of uh, La Nina, which is expected to begin by June. So we will keep you updated. We will uh, be issuing the El Nino La Nina update sometime uh, this week or this weekend. So stay tuned for more details. Okay. So that's the forecast until Sunday. So there might be rain showers and thunderstorms for those who are asking here in the Bicol region. So watch out for that. Those living in Camarines provinces and uh, Albay. So there might be a chance of thunderstorm beginning uh, Friday afternoon and every afternoon or early evening through the weekend. So stay tuned for that uh, rainfall. Just be careful for some lightning strikes and possible uh, hailstone, very small uh, uh, ice, okay, falling from the from these clouds, okay. And for the wave forecast, it's still the same. So today, Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll move this into uh, Friday and Saturday, and into Sunday. It will remain 1 to 1.3 meters here of wave height along the East Philippine Sea. Inland waters of the Philippine Sea will remain calm to about 0 0.3 meter in wave height. So very suitable for fishing and uh, sea travel. And over the West Philippine Sea, it will remain around uh, 0 0.4 up to about 1 meter. So, very nice to have some fishing activities and sea travel. And before we leave you, here's the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook issued for today from the Climate Prediction Center of the U.S. This is valid for the next two to three weeks. So, let's begin on week two, valid May 22 to May 28. There you go. Because of that impending LPA and possible tropical cyclone from both of the reliable computer models, to the east of the Philippine Islands, we might be having uh, more than 20% of a tropical cyclone probability. So, this is still not yet sure. So, we will wait and see. Compared to the Indian Ocean or the Bay of Bengal, this is much, much higher. Around uh, more than 60% of tropical cyclone formation. So, there might be a strong cyclone that could affect uh, uh, parts of Myanmar, uh, Bangladesh, what else? Okay. So those are the areas that could be affected by a major cyclone here. Look at this. It's all uh, dark marooned. Okay. While uh, on week 3, valid May 29 to June 4, the uh, probability or the uh, more than 20% probability of a tropical cyclone formation has been expanded across the Philippine Islands and the West Philippine Sea. So there might be uh, uh, another chance of a tropical cyclone formation forming here during may 29 to june 4 but take note this is highly uncertain since it's on week 3 the probability is so low okay so changes may still occur so we will keep you updated on the next outlook next wednesday or next week so that ends our update for today may 15 wednesday and we'll return this weekend to give you more updates on the weather from typhoon 2000 this is mike padua saying good day to all have a great week and thank you so much for watching our channel god bless to all